Hello people, Strange Tumblr here, and it is time to do another Hearthstone Arena run. Today our options are Thrall the Shaman, Gersh, Hell Scream the Warrior, and Uther Le Light Bleh Lightbringer the Paladin. Today we're going to be th Thrall the Shaman. Shaman? Shaman? I don't know. But we're going to be Thrall, because I have a quest to do wins with Shaman. Yes, I do all of my decisions based on what my quests are for the day. Uh... Lava Burst. I don't like Overloads. Overloads, I know Overload is the big thing about Shaman decks. I suck at them. Uh, but we're gonna we're gonna take Lava Burst. Five damage for only three. The Overload later on is gonna be painful. Uh, Mana Tide Totem. Draw a card at the end of your turn. Uh, guaranteed to get one card out. Hopefully more. Uh, especially if we can do stuff like the Totemic Might to get extra health on it. However, Chillwind Yeti, I think is the clear winner in this setup and it's the clear winner here as well uh deal one character deal one damage to an enemy character and freeze it is a good card uh it's a good way to clear and it's a good way to stall a player uh this one's good too just because it's basically a three four in two different targets uh let's take that though spell damage is a good one to have taunt is also good but I think we're going to want spell damage. This is decent too, get three damage out. But spell damage is going to be very helpful, I believe. Uh, whenever we cast a spell, cast a 1-1 one, one is good. Deal two to three damage to all enemy minions is great. And when a minion is destroyed, return it to the battlefield as like a new whole minion. Uh, this is probably a really hard choice. I think though, I'm going to take Lightning Storm just because of the clearing it does this is a great way to get more minions this is a great way to keep a minion on the table ah uh, lightning storm we got to get that clear let's see here we can restore two health to all friendly characters or we could have the taunt with the enrage i think you know what we're gonna we're gonna take the well this is, this is a decent one, except you always play it first turn, and you restore two health to a hero that already has full health. Uh, I think we're going to take the taunt. F uh, Flame Tongue Totem is a great one. Bloodlust is also good, but Flame Tongue is just great, especially if you already have your minions down. See, if I knew I was going to get a Knife Juggler, that violent uh, sorcerer, whatever... The summon the one ones might have been a better choice. It's still a good choice. Whenever a character is healed, gain plus two attack. Uh, we don't really have very many heals. Well, actually, we do have heals uh, with the uh, not mana spring totem. The the totem that we can get restores one health to everyone. That could be a really beefy. It's obviously gonna die really quick. But I think we're gonna go ahead and take the knife juggler, uh, especially because I can always get minions out with my hero power. Uh, here we have either the charge, charge if I have a weapon, which sh shamans do get weapons, so that is a possibility, or the 2-1 mechanical dragonling. I think we're going to go ahead and take the, uh, this is a good, this is a good one, I like it, but we already have fours and we don't have very many ones, the only one that we have is a frost shock, so I'm going to go ahead and take this, the boar, because it's guaranteed to have the charge. Uh, this one, I, it's a 2-2, two -two, but you get to deal one damage, which can be nice early on. I just don't think the that one damage is really worth it for a 2-2. Two -two. Uh, give a minion plus two attack this turn, or we could have the River Croc. River Croc I like because it has the three health. Um, as opposed to most of the two plays have three damage and two health. So this can sometimes survive a couple times. Another Flame Tongue Totem is good. Other minions have plus one attack. This is just better. Uh, even though it can't attack itself, if you can get it behind a taunt wall or whatever else, we're going to take another Flame Tongue Totem. Uh, whenever one of your minions dies, draw a card. Your weapon has plus two attack. This would be great if we could get a um, Doom Hammer. Does, uh, I think, two damage, but it has Wind Fury. If I could do four damage each time... That would be beefy. Plus, it's just good. I mean, it's not good to... You know, if it was a constructed deck to do it... Oh, here we go. Here we go. 
We have give her weapon plus one plus one. We got to take you, Sarah. Alex Straza is good, but honestly, I've never played you, Sarah, before, and I just want to see what the dream cards are. I've never gotten a dream card before. I've had them played against me, so I kind of know, but at the same time, ah, this is a hard one. Which dragon? Which dragon would you pick? Tell me in the comments below. Honestly, I'm I'm serious. Which one would you pick? Uh, this it might be good in a rogue or a warrior deck, but the fact that I for sure have no weapons yet and we're halfway through the draw, there's obviously no reason to take this right now. Uh, it just eight damage is huge. Uh, and setting a I I want to see what the dream cards are. I want to see what the dream cards are. Okay, spell damage, give a friendly minion plus one plus one, or the rock biter. These are all good picks too. These are all great picks. I like the rock biter weapon, because you can give it to yourself, you can give it to a minion, you can do lots of things with it. Uh, also the plus one plus one is a great way to just beef up someone if you need to, such as Ysera, you know, make your uh, 513 instead. Um, you know what? Let's go ahead. What do we what do we have for our threes right now? We have the mana totem. And we have the turn warrior. Let's go ahead and take her. We need some higher ended cards. I'm kind of worried, to be honest. Uh Oasis Snapjaw doesn't really count as a higher ended card. I'm gonna go ahead and take the Earthen Ring Farset here. Has a lot of threes involved. Restore three health for three mana, and it's a three-three. Uh here we're gonna take the Argent Commander. Um, I'm, I'm starting to understand how good of a card this can be, uh, cause it usually gets at least two kills for one card, even though it has less damage and obviously has less health, you can get, you can do some cool stuff with it. You can d usually get two kills with it. So let's go ahead and take it, uh, another charge, or we could, uh, brewmaster it, but I think, uh, the Ventrico Mercenary is going to win this one. Uh, minions class three more, but it's just such a beefy. Thing. Uh, especially late game when you're out of cards when you're when you when you don't have anything to play anyways it doesn't really matter how much things cost um here I don't like any of these this one's decent however it also gives your opponents cards especially when they're running low on cards it's great to keep them starving on cards but it's also good to get cards in your hand. This one, it, it usually gets silenced or something like that. But I think we're going to go ahead and take it. Deal two damage to a random enemy can be helpful. Uh, silence a minion, then deal one damage to it is a good card. Uh, silences are always good. We don't have any yet. Uh, we're, I think we're good on Flame Tongue Totems. We, only, we have two of them so far. Uh, you, oh, crap. Why did I click? I didn't mean to click it. Well, we have a youthful brewmaster. I was not going to take that. I honestly wasn't. I was going to take the uh, earth shock. Dang it. Dang it. Okay, lightning bolts, good one. Leper gnome, guaranteed to deal two damage to the hero. Uh, Totemic might might be worth picking up now, especially since we have the manatide and two flame tongues. I think we might pick that one up. And I believe we already have a lightning bolt. No, we don't. Okay, never mind. Um, Stone forged axe is a great card you get six damage with it if it doesn't get destroyed i think we're gonna go ahead and take it we are gonna have a very aggressive early game i think because we just don't have anything to follow up uh restore two health to all friendly characters i i just want it for the stats honestly at this point i just need some higher end cards deal two damage to two random enemy minions an overload of two uh this is great against a rogue deck uh if if they're gonna do that uh, coin into the Defias. Uh, we have a Rockbiter weapon again. I think we're going to take that. Although the Geomancer is a good pick too. That gives us a minion and it gets us to spill damage. How many? Let's see. We have one damage here. We have two damage. Three. I thought we had one more. Three. Okay, maybe not worth it. Uh, but I just, I, I just want more minions. I need more minions. No, we gotta go rock fighter weapon. It can be very helpful. Bloodlust is great, although the taunt. Ah, uh, bloodlust or taunt. Bloodlust is a great finisher. Especially when you have a bunch of totems out that 
the opponent is kind of forgetting about, and then you throw out the Bloodlust all of a sudden, and you have five minions that do three damage each. Pretty, pretty impressive. Although the Taunt could be very helpful. I think we're going to take Bloodlust here. Dust Devil sucks. I don't care what any of you guys say. Dust Devil sucks. Uh, it just, I mean, it dies on its first turn before it can do anything. And if, if it doesn't die, it's great. But our second turn, if we play this turn one, we, we have nothing to play turn two. So it's going to die, basically. It's basically two turns worth of cards in one card. That'll probably die. Uh, Frost Wolf Warlord, though, is also good, especially if you have a stack of totems. Let's do it. Oh, shoot. We should have not taken the Bloodlust then. Uh, let's go ahead and take another one, though. If I had known that it was going to come up again, I wouldn't have taken it. Another Stormforged Axe could be useful. The Ancient Brewmaster could also be useful. Um, where are we at on cards? Let's take the Ancient Brewmaster just for the stats. Yeah. And getting someone back. Uh, whenever you cast a spell, gain plus two attack this turn. Whenever a character is healed, gain plus two attack. Let's take the Light Warden and see if we can make it beefy. Um, because we do have a couple uh, healing things. Although spell damage plus one is good too. Ah, uh, these are all good. These are all good. You know what? Let's take the Mana Addict, actually. Whenever you cast a spell, gain plus two attack this turn. Not as beefy as this could get, but it's probably going to die before it gets too beefy. This at least has three health. I'm going to be casting a fair amount of spells. We went over a couple that were... Yeah, let's do it. <sighs> spell damage... Uh, it's a hard one. It's a hard choice. I'm just horrible at making decisions. Ah, uh, Mana Addict. Let's do it. Here we go. Let the hunt begin for Doomhammer. Alright, we're going first. I'm going to keep these two, and I think we're going to go ahead and send that one back. Uh, this was just kind of the lesser of all evils. And uh, it, it could be helpful, but we're playing against a, what, Hunter? Could be helpful, but I think this will be better. Let's go ahead and throw that back in, see if we can get something a little bit better. That's a little bit better. Perfect. Alright, so we have turn one, turn two, turn three. Turn four. Perfect. Alright. Yay, we're in the lead, guys! We're in the lead. Nothing to complain about yet. Alright. Hey, we're even more in the lead. This is great. Alright, so, so far... We're just, like I said, we're going to have a very aggressive early game, I think, because we had so many low-cost cards. And the good thing is that we have the Overlord, over, Overlord? Overload cards as well. Uh, so this is going to be... Okay. That's fine. What do we have? We could... Could trade... I don't really want to trade, but I think we're going to have to trade. We Let's do this. The sun well. Put you up to four health. That way you're going to survive this. What a, rush. what a rush indeed. Okay. I think that's a good trade. As long as he... I don't know. I, I, I normally play Hunter for my rank deck, so I kind of know the cards that he's going to play. But at the same time, I have no idea what cards he's going to play. Because it's draft. It's not draft. It is draft, not constructed. So drafts always come up a little bit differently than an actual constructed deck. The fact that he's considering doing a steady shot makes me happy. Awesome. It makes me really happy, actually. Okay, let's get the Yeti out this turn, and then we can uh, knife juggler and torn warrior next turn. We could also actually knife juggler and Totemic Call this turn with the Spiteful Smith. Let's go ahead and do that. Because that gets us a little bit more damage. I'm just worried at this point we're kind of screwed if he decides to get himself a, uh, a uh, an explosive trap. Which will do two damage to all my minions. Which would effectively clear my board. So uh, if, if something comes down secret-wise like that... Um, you're definitely going to want to be careful about what we play. 
I'm thinking though, if it is an explosive trap, it might be a good idea to get this guy enraged. So I'm gonna go ahead and put him down now. And then we'll kind of see what goes from there. They bend to my okay, so far so good. Um, this is gonna clear my board, most likely. Yep, there it goes. But this is enraged, if I can get myself a... If I can get myself a weapon, this will be great. If I can't get myself a weapon, well, that sucks. But at least I'm still ahead on the board. At least I'm still ahead on the board. And I mean, if, if nothing else, turn 7, I could put down the Brewmaster to replay the Spiteful Smith if I need to. Or I mean, I can put this down any turn and then replay it next turn. Because I could if I need to. If he goes and attacks me here, no. Okay, here's what we'll do. We'll attack here. We'll bring you back. We will do this. Give me the three attack. And we'll go ahead and clear him off. I didn't really think that one through. I, I, I was thinking that I'd be able to do a totem. And I probably should have left him there to hit. Uh, but it's all right. We'll, we'll make it work. We'll make it work. Stealth. That's not good. Deal three da Oh, five damage on me there. Okay. That's fine. So here... We could totem smith. Yeah, I think we're going to totem and then do the smith. Because I want to keep this for when I can actually take something out with it. Um, I don't want it to get um, automatically killed for any reason. And I also like having this in the middle. It's not bad. That's a little worse. So this guy's going to die. Yep. And is this guy gonna die? I hope. I well. Yep, that guy is most definitely gonna die. Okay, well then. This isn't pleasant. Okay, now we get the Ventrico Mercenary. So here we can get the four damage. Let's totem. We could Yeti. It's almost better. If I... Uh, no, I don't want to pop my shield on it. I'm, I'm just thinking there, there's got to be a way... A, a good way to get rid of this guy. Bring these guys down to one attack each. And then life will be good. But I think... No, let, let's just do that. Let's hope... Let's hope we can do something good with it. Uh, next turn we can play down the Yeti and the, the Mercenary. Okay, now he just might sacrifice his dogs. No. Okay. So next turn he has 4, 8, 9, 11 total damage. So we're going to have to attack here. And then what we can do is we can take this. Hopefully it says, yeah, perfect. Here. 
and then we'll mercenary over on this side. Yeah, yeah, you gotta be kidding me! Job's done. And that way, if he does take out the totem, the mercenary will come in and get the bonus. And then we'll have 9, 15 damage next turn. He most likely... Uh, I don't know what he's going to do this turn. Okay, that works. Is he going to forget to use his rhino? Nope. No, he's not. Dang it. Well, one could hope, right? One could hope. Give me some good. Okay. Well, we at least can play this. Nice. Well... This works. And that gives us lethal next turn as long as we have this. He has 6, 8 damage. So if he can find a way to kill this, we're screwed. Um, if he has, like, a bite or a explosive shot, anything like that, that goes down for free, which isn't a problem. If that has charge, not a problem. Okay. Yep. And with that, I'll be right back. I must protect the wild for Doomhammer. All right. Well, it'd be nice if I could play this turn one, but that's not going to happen. It would have been nice if I could have gotten that last turn. Hopefully, this goes a little bit better, though. Um. You know what? I'm going to go ahead and send the Demolisher back again as well. Hopefully we can get something a little better. No, we should have kept the Demolisher. Oh well. It might be worth it to coin the Brewmaster. Just because... Actually, no. You know what? We're going to... We're not going to coin the Brewmaster. Oh, Wind Fury. We might coin the Brewmaster now. Might be a good idea. I was just thinking if we coin with the Mana Addict, that'd be good for us. Uh, but if we can have turn one, turn two, turn three at this point. Uh, so yeah, this'll, this'll, this'll at least compensate for the Dragonhawk. Yeah, that, la that last part did not end quite so well now, did it? No, but it's okay. This one will go better. I have faith. It's all about the faith. Plus two, plus two, and taunt. So that's going to give us six damage now. Well, that's painful. What do you... Oh, do you have an innervate too? Oh man, if he has an innervate... He's going to say it'd be painful, but at the same time it would basically get rid of all of the cards in his hand so hopefully he runs out of cards early and then we can capitalize on that that's that's what i'm hoping for at this point guys is capitalizing on his lack of cards either that or once we get around turn five and six we are much better off what to do but hopefully we get something good here 3-2 Panther. Okay, now would be a great time to get... Not that. I was going to say, it'd be great to get a spell in my hand. Uh, you know, the deal damage. Give it plus two attack, and everything would be great. I think instead... You know what? We're going to go ahead and play this. Uh, just so we can get rid of this. Because he's probably going to go right here then Demolisher will either deal damage to one of those two. That's my hope. We'll see what happens. Uh, but if it was me, I would probably clear this one out just because it has the ability of becoming a lot stronger. Uh, even though it's only for one turn, he has no idea how many spells I have. And so usually when I see this in a major shaman deck or a rogue deck for that matter, um, I try to get rid of it because those are the three classes that tend to have the most spells. He 
He has four cards and four mana, and he has no idea what he's going to do. I hope that's a good thing, and uh, we'll, 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 we'll hope for the best here. We'll hope what for the best. Taunt. That's fine. So, what you going to do? Yeah. Are you going to attack? Okay. You're going to attack the... Oh! Okay. I see what you're doing. Okay, so that gets rid of the taunt, which is good. Uh, and we have a Yeti. Perfect timing for the Yeti. Perfect timing for the Yeti. And we're going to go ahead and deal the one damage here. So it looks like he's set to kill this. Uh, which, obviously, I want to get the damage on him instead of trade this way. Although... Yeah, I think it's better if we do it that way. Um, because I am technically doing 3 damage per turn with this. So if we trade across, it's not that great of a trade, I don't think. What? Because, yeah, he's doing 3 damage a turn, but he only has 1 health. Here I'm doing 3 damage a turn, and I have 3 health. Kind of makes sense in my head. I'm going to go with it. We're, we're going to say it's good. Even though it's not targeted damage... It's still three damage, except here, of course. It's still it's still worth having out on the board at this point. He still only has four cards. Now he has more mana, which is great for him. But uh, the thing is, I don't know Druids well enough to know. Uh, like I was saying earlier, I just I don't I don't know what cards they have or hmm. what they can do. I'm just that that uneducated I guess would be the term deal one damage or deal three damage okay that's fine okay still decent I think what we're gonna do here is we can totem and earthen ring we could also do the frost wolf i, I want to wait to the frost wolf until we have a couple more minions if possible which is why i'm thinking we do the earthen ring and the totem plus the totem gives us a chance of uh getting our taunt up which will obviously deflect this away from the yeti so let's go ahead and totem see what we get there we go. Yeah, like I said, the the stone claw is going to deflect, keep the chill yeti alive for one extra turn if possible. Although I could, instead of healing my hero, I could heal the yeti instead. I didn't really think of that. I think that's going to be a better option, actually. Um, that helps keep it alive from a claw, which I do know the druids do have claws, which does four damage and one damage to adjacent. Um, there's also one that does, there's also star, it's either starfire or moonfire that does either f six damage or two damage to all minions, which wouldn't be another one that would kill this guy off. So a couple things that I have to worry about there, but I think that'll, I think that should keep the Yeti alive, which will get us some more damage out of it. Yeah, I, I, as soon as I saw this, I was like, well, that'll be great against the uh, taunted, the plus two, plus two uh, Wind Fury thing. Dragonhawk, right? Dragonhawk? Plus four attack or plus four health and taunt. It's going to be a taunt, most likely, which is fine. What we could do is we could bloodlust this turn. And then Yeti can take it out and deal six damage to the Druid. I think that may be a better choice. Yeah, I think that's going to be our best choice is to do the Bloodlust. Take this guy out and deal the six damage here. That still makes it so he can't uh, take out either of these guys. Although if he has a Claw, now would be a perfect time for a Claw. Four damage, one damage here, two damage there would clear my board. Would also clear his board, though. First minion you play each turn costs two less. Not worried about that. 
Uh, next turn we'll have seven to play. I really want to get this turn uh, warrior out, especially since all that he has are the two plays. Um, Where shall I strike? He really likes those uh, taunts, which really sucks, actually. See, I can do this, get the four damage. Go here, get the finisher. Or we could spell damage. Yeah, spell damage was a horrible pick earlier. Yeah, we'll go ahead and do this. And go here. So probably get him dead from one of these minions. Most likely this one. But the fact that he's down on cards makes me feel a little bit better. Restore four health to your hero. It's not bad. There's worse things that could have happened. Okay, two attack and two armor. Are you going to take out... Oh, you're going to take out the Yeti then. Ooh. I don't like you taking out the Yeti, actually. I'd rather trade Red Crust. Yeah, you're going to take out the Yeti. Dang it! Okay. Well, good news is I'm going to get a taunt out. Yeah, we're going to get the taunt and the weaponsmith. So that helps. Although the taunt isn't going to stay alive very long, it's good to have nonetheless. Well, that just sucks. That just sucks. All around. Probably he's going to attack, and then attack, and then attack. And I have no good counters right now for anything. I'm glad he went that direction instead. That's th three extra damage that he took. That's good. That makes me feel slightly better. Okay, even with a rock biter weapon, we can't do much. Which sucks. That's I, I hate these iron bark protectors. They're just so powerful. It sucks. Okay, so we're gonna knife juggler. We're going to totem. That doesn't help. And then we're going to get you guy out for the seven. Okay, the question is... Dang it. We have to do the attack. Which sucks. Because he has 13 damage at the very least right now. If he... Okay, that's another taunt, which is fine. More or less. That's 14 damage that we're taking. Okay. So what are you going to do with your minions? I assume... I was assuming that he'd just attack my hero. interesting that you choose to do that you know what i just realized we didn't get a single option for a hex a hex would have been awesome to have okay let's get you out let's get you out and um there's no real reason for me to go here because I'd rather take it out with the Ventrico Mercenary next turn. And then we have the 7 damage going in there. Uh, he's got 8, 9 damage. At the very least coming in. If this is any kind of spell damage, we lose. These taunts at the very end are saving him. And I hate it! I hate it! Absolutely hate it! If we could have just been dealing direct damage, we would have been great. And you're going to taunt us. No! Nope, that's game. That's game. That's game. Well, now we're 0-2. Hopefully we can salvage something. Hopefully we can salvage something. Hey, we leveled up, though. Did we get a new card? Nope. No, we did not. All right, here we go. Come on, something good. Light shall bring victory.
for Doomhammer. All right, now that I've been thinking about it, we didn't have the option for the flame element, element, elemental, elemental. We didn't have options for the wind fury. Uh, we didn't have our doom hammer, which isn't all that ex uh, surprising, honestly. But uh, yeah, there were a lot of cards, a lot of good cards for the shaman that we just didn't get the option of taking in this draft, which kind of sucks, action. honestly. Um, yeah, we're still safe taking the Knife Juggler, even if you do decide to do one damage. Although, the thing that I need to be careful of is Priest has a spell that does two damage, which I'm not too keen on. I think what we're going to do is do the Brewmaster first, just in case I'd like to keep the Knife Juggler around. Because uh, I believe it's two mana to do to deal two damage. It might only be one mana, actually. Uh, but something that I want to be careful of. Uh, also, the we have to worry about Shadow Word Pain. Yeah, that one. That just flat out destroys a minion. Those always suck. All right, so let's go ahead and get you out this turn then. Next turn, what we can do is we can totem and totem and do it that way if we absolutely have to. Uh, what we probably might do, actually, is totem. And then... Well, no. Let's do this. See what we shoot there. Dang it, I was hoping we'd shoot here and then we could have frost shocked it. Let's go here. For obvious reasons. And do a lot more damage than we need to. Than we possibly need to. Although it might have been better to frost shock this. It'll still get its uh text to do the two damage but it won't wouldn't be able to kill off my knife knife juggler now he might just kill off the flame tongue which would be fine i'd be okay with that actually i would definitely be okay with that uh provided of course that he doesn't do anything else on this turn which never happens for some reason my opponents always play cards on their turn <sighs> It sucks, to be completely honest. It does. Uh, probably we're going to be seeing a Mind Vision or that. Silence a minion. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. We have a couple options here. Especially now that it's silenced. Are you going to heal it? You coined to heal it. Really? Okay, that takes away a couple of my options then. We can... Especially because you're silenced, you're basically a 3-1. Hey, we can trade here. We can... Cleric... Here. And... Yeah. We'll give you the plus the one, plus well. one. We will summon this. And we'll do that. Job done. Um, what are you going to take out? Me? Okay, that's fine. As long as we can keep our minions on the table, I'll be happy. I actually don't mind if it keeps doing damage to me. Uh, because we'll kill it here fairly soon. You know, it. Uh, you just really like this, don't you? And now you're gonna heal it. That's fine. I can actually kill it off this turn if I need to. Which I probably do need to. I think what we'll do is. Go here. Wait. 
Yeah, let's just kill it off now before it becomes an issue. Just the fact that it's randomly doing damage is annoying. Very annoying. And, and we have Bloodlust on our Mana Addict next turn if we need to. That'll be fun. Oh, I totally forgot that I get to heal every turn. That's kind of nice as well. So, most likely he's going to trade across here or do this. Actually, I would do that, honestly. Uh, there's also the Holy Nova that I have to worry about at this point. Let the pain speak to me. No. Nope. Okay. That's fine. That's fine all around. Silence a minion. No, don't silence. Okay, that's fine. That would have been some extra damage, but overall I think it's fine. How do we want to do this? We could attack here to pop the bubble. We could bloodlust to... Yeah, we're going to bloodlust this turn. I wonder... Let's see what our totem is. Okay, maybe we don't bloodlust then. I think we still do. Yeah, we're gonna bloodlust. Cause then we can do... Wait. We wanna do it this way. And then we can take you out, or we can do the damage. I think what we do here is... We do the damage. Because you can't do that and you only have two cards. I think we're better off this way. I think... And then you get your taunt going. Which is fine. Hopefully the fact that you have no cards in your hand is going to be good for us. I hope so. But we're gonna Yeti. We're gonna Yeti. And we're gonna wait a turn. Because the next turn, what we can do is we can Yeti. We can Mana Addict. And then we can Dark Scale heal it, this guy back up. Okay, that's annoying. That That's a good way for him to get his cards back. I should have killed him off when I had the chance. That wasn't smart of me, to be completely honest. The gates are open. And more taunts. Awesome. And you're going to heal him back up, which is fine. Deal two to three damage on all enemies with the overlord. Overlord. Why do I keep calling it overlord? Let's go ahead and do this, see what happens. Hopefully we get three on this. There we go. Okay, and then we go ahead and attack here. We're going to attack here. And then we will restore the health. Okay. I feel good right now. The fact that we were able to get that... Acolyte of Pain. Is that what his name is? Acolyte of Pain? Yeah. Get him off the table. Stop the priest from getting cards. However, the position is now reversed. We are out of cards and he is not. And I know for a fact that we don't have very many good drawing cards. I'm okay with you using that card to kill that. As long as I stay... Do you need a blessing? Okay, I don't like that. The fact that you're getting a lot of health does not make me happy. And the fact that we have the Flame Tongue Totem and not much that we can do with it this turn. Although we could... We could... Kill this off. Might be a good idea, actually. Yeah, let's go ahead and kill it off. I think that's a better choice. What? He just, like, immediately ended his turn. Did he mean to? Clearly he didn't mean to. 
There's no way he, like, just accidentally... I don't know, maybe he did mean to, but... It's not the best decision he's ever made. Did he get disconnected or something? I am very confused right now. I am very, I'm very confused. My opponent left. Okay. Well. Okay. I think I would have won anyways, but still. I'll take it. I'll take it. I think at that point we were doing fine. Hey, we got, we got one, we got one win. We got one win into our whole uh, five win quest. Let's see if we can keep it going. For Doomhammer. The elements will destroy you. Alright, the good old mirror match. I think actually we're good with this. I might go ahead and take this. This is better off later on when we have a bunch of totems on. And this could help us get some better... something better? Nope! Turn two, three, four, and five! Alright. Well, there's that. Right, that sucks that the guy uh, disconnected last match, though, but um, it happens. It does happen, unfortunately. Hopefully we uh, don't have that issue anytime soon. Okay, that's fine. Although it does concern me a little bit that he's not playing other minions. Concerns me quite a bit, actually. If all he's doing is... I am not a morning person. Okay, so that'll get you a lot of imps. Oh boy, the imps. I almost feel like it's better to... Ring into a four. Let's ring into the Yeti. Job's done. Uh, just because... There's no reason to restore three health when we have full health on everything. Uh, we can we can use that much more effectively later on. Uh, is is my hope. We also have the ability if we need to, uh, we can bring someone back to heal them. So I'm thinking I'm just going to yeti into the imp master next turn to finish that off because the if it gets full of imps and especially if he has a. Um, Bloodlust, that could get really hectic really early. And I don't really want to deal with that right now, for obvious reasons. I am not a morning okay, so there's going to be a lot of imps. Yeah, I would assume at this point that he probably has some sort of bloodlust. And so I really want to get the lightning strike, if possible. I'm going to go ahead and get this guy out. I'm going to go ahead and kill you off. And I think I'm going to go ahead and do one damage here. Just to prevent this from getting too out of hand. Although I could have done it next turn instead. I, I still think that this... Might be a better choice. I'm just pretty much guaranteeing myself that there's going to be a bloodlust this turn. That would be my guess. Hmm. I'd be very surprised if there isn't. Okay, there's not going to be a bloodlust. I'll put it on your okay, you can do that instead. That's fine. Interesting. Interesting. Okay, so we have five. We're gonna go ahead and do Spiteful Smith. They all bend to my command. And go ahead and take you out. And do that. Okay, so I'm I'm totally confused then. If he doesn't have if he doesn't have 
Bloodlust, I don't know what he's going for. Maybe he just likes having a lot of minions on the table. Maybe he has a Nixia. Can you imagine a Nixia plus Bloodlust? Oh my gosh, that would be amazing. Now I have to put a Nixia in my Shaman deck. This is the best idea ever. Also, a Healing Totem with the Imp thing? That's a good combo, actually. Now that I think about it. That would go really well. Pay attention, class. Whenever you cast a spell, life sucks, basically. Okay. Deal six damage with the overload. Okay, well, we know what we're gonna do. We are going to mana addict. We are gonna kill you before you become an issue. You just like he just likes a lot of one ones. He this guy, Akoda, he would play a splinter deck in magic. I don't know much about magic, but I know splinter decks are a lot of fun. It's a lot of like one one minions, but they all work together. Like they they're all like one ones, but every other splinter gets such and such. So by the end you're like all your splinters instead of being one ones are seven nines with flying and shadow and unblockable and trample and basically they just annihilate the entire world altogether. That's all I know about that's all I know about everything. Anything, really. Splinters. It's more than just Ninja Turtles. I wonder, I wonder as well. What are you going to do? Are you going to play your imp thing? I'd be okay with that. I'll just kill it. I'll kill it and I'll get the enrage for when I finally get a weapon. Which has yet to happen. I have not drawn a weapon yet. I have two weapons in this deck. I wonder, and I have not drawn them. Makes me a little bit sad. Also makes me a little bit worried that you have seven cards in your hand and you're not doing anything. Little time. So I assume you're gonna trade across here. My shield for Argon. I... Okay. I guess that makes sense. But at the same time it doesn't. Okay, so what we want to do here, and we only have five. I guess what we'll do is dark scale, kill you back up, and take you out that way. It's really annoying that I have to do that. And I really want to get rid of this. Ah, that overload came at a bad time. That was a good turn for him. I'm really confused on why he did that on just that one minion. He could have put down his two minions, then put down the Defender of Argus for the taunts, and then put down the Flame Tongue Totem to give this guy a lot of extra. What to do? But who? Do, what do? What do I know? I know very little. I just play cards for not even a living. For fun! And profit. Not even profit. Okay, you're gonna hex me? That's fine. Here's my question. If I brewmaster it, I'm assuming it comes back as a frog. I am not a morning which is person. fine. Okay, so here it gets a little funny. Because what we're going to do is we're going to do the Flame Tongue, which will give it to two attack. We will make you a... Must the we're going to make you a 3-2 Toad. The Toad of Overwhelmingness. And we're going to kill this off, obviously. That's that's the priority. And then we'll go ahead and restore three health there. Okay. That works, right? Why the heck not? I should I should have put this over on this side. Since this is gonna get taunted or get killed because of taunt, then it would have slid over and become a five three. 
That's something I need to think about. Something I should should be aware of at all times. Are you going to? Please tell me you're going to hex it again. That would be amazing if you hexed it. it. Can you hex a hexed? That would be amazing. I. We should do that sometime. We should definitely do that. We should hex a hex. What? I can see that happening against the paladin. Since paladins have a lot of buffs. I mean, I, I've had a 0-1 frog. And I've used Blessing of Might. Blessing of Might? No, Blessing of Kings. Given it a plus 4, plus 4. And so it's been a 4-5 toad with taunt. And uh, that was a lot of fun. I think I won that round. It's not often that that happens. Okay, that sucks. Okay, you're dead. Okay. That's fine. Now it doesn't matter where I put um, this. But still, it's those little things that add up at the end of the day. Okay. So now would be a great time for me to draw a great card. Nope. Still waiting. Okay, so what we're going to do here is we're going to go here. Forward. We're going to trade here. Now the question is, do I Ancient Brewmaster this to get a plus one plus one? Or do I Brewmaster this to get the extra damage and I think the answer is you take this back put you down and we'll put you back down right here I was really hoping that'd be a taunt but whatever we're gonna do that just to keep you slightly more alive and uh, we have 12 damage next turn if all goes according to plan. I still want that Chain Lightning, though. Chain Lightning would be a great pickup right now. I've been wanting Chain Lightning this entire match, though. Let's let's be honest. Chain Lightning would be great. I told you I'd need it for the uh, board clears. I so I'm thinking Owl to the Cleric, which will make this a 2-4. And then these two are just going to hit me in the face here. As for the rest of his hand, no idea. No, I can't. I can't call what is what's in his hand. What? Hopefully, nothing good. I wouldn't mind getting Yasera into my hand either, mainly because I have no idea what my dream cards are, or what they could be, and we'll find out together. Um, and I, the only time I've had her in my hand, no, I had her one other time and I wasn't able to play her, I think, right? And then we, we drew it at the beginning of this match, which obviously I'm not going to keep it in my hand for nine turns. Uh, that would just be stupid. Okay. I'm not the brightest, but I do know that it's not a good idea to waste your card draws on a card that you can't play for at least nine turns. Wait, are you trying to attack yourself? I like that idea. Attack yourself. Do it. Please. No? Okay. Deal five damage right here. Okay, that's fine. Okay. Holy crap, you're just pulling out of all the stops right now, aren't you? Okay. Oh, now you have that. Okay, now I finally get a freaking weapon. Okay. Which is good timing because of this. So what we're going to do is we're going to attack here. To kill that off. We're going to attack here to stop that from happening. We're going to get ourselves a beautiful 2-2 taunt. And we're going to get ourselves an even better 9-6 minion. There we go. And he's out of cards. Well, he's down to two cards. I'm out of cards. I'm the one that's absolutely, totally, 
completely out of cards. Okay. I am good with all of that. Very good. Very good. Alright. Well played indeed. Hooray! Alright guys, I don't know where I'm going to be cutting this, but I am going to go ahead and stop recording here and pick it back up in a little bit. Um, I know it's kind of a weird way to end, but this may be the end of a part. It may not be. But until next time, guys, I will see you soon. I will fight with honor for Doomhammer. Alright, once again, we get you, Sarah, as a starting draw. You know what? Let's just redraw all of it. I don't like it. <laughs> so much better. Okay, well, I'm glad we redrew. Let's just go ahead and do that. Hello, D. You can even say hi, D. Because that's probably this person's actual name. Possibly. I hope you just flip that. That would make my day happy. Nope. No can do. Okay, perfect. That's fine. Let's get ourselves a... There we go. That'll stall him a turn. That will stall him one little turn. Hopefully. Not on my nope. It... Wait. No, that doesn't do anything for us. Okay, well, this is not going to start off well at all. Fortunately, we can put down the Demolisher, which is going to do amazing things for us. Has the possibility of popping a shield, killing a minion, or doing two damage next turn, if it survives that long. Which probably won't, considering the amount of play this guy Reporting is doing. I don't know, possibly he's just going to come after me, which would be fine. If he does, we are going to Shatter Sun Cleric into the protector yeah I was gonna say I'm pretty sure it's not gonna survive though not a surprise at this point uh, in this case then we're gonna chill when Yeti ah crap this is either going to reduce my health to one or it's going to be um, Or it's going to be Noble Sacrifice. What am I willing to get rid of? I guess we'll do this. Job's done. Nope. Okay, so it's Noble Sacrifice. Basically, the first thing that I attack is going to automatically be changed into a 2-1. Holy crap, this guy is relentless. Okay, so in this case, what we can do is we can totem, rock biter, totem. We could totem, cleric. We could totem, totem, rock biter. I think our best bet, honestly. If we rock biter, it's basically going to get rid of the secret. So I don't feel good about that, to be completely honest. Let's see what this totem is. So I can make it into a 2 2. We must cleanse the sun well. That's fine. That basically makes it so that he can't kill. He's going to lose his fairy dragon if he tries to attack us. I also have to worry about a consecration at this point. But if it's Noble Sacrifice, then basically I just have to... He's just going to attack here. We're going to trade this into the Noble Sacrifice. And then we can Rock Biter. Well, that changes things a little bit, doesn't it? That It doesn't really change anything. So what we do now is we do this. We're just going to be the Noble Sacrifice. Which is fine. It's kind of what we suspected. We can give you the three attack to kill you off. Which leaves us with five. 
mana. I wonder, does this... I'm ready. I'm not ready. No, that doesn't do anything. Okay. Well, good to know. Push forward. So we trade here. And now we're a 4-4 against a 4-3, basically. Next turn, we can get out the Argent Commander if we need to. We also have two Flame Tongue Totems in the wings if we need them. But, uh, yeah. We also have the Mana Addict, which hasn't done anything for us yet at all. Okay, so now you have a 5-5 five five with Divine Shield. Always fun. Hey, we have Ysera! Maybe we'll get to see what it does. Maybe. Possibly. Doubtful, though. It's highly doubtful. If I put down both Flame Tongue Totems, they're both going to die this turn. And that sucks. A lot. What we could do is Argent Commander... If we Argent Commander into this guy, then whichever one he chooses will die. I don't know if that's a good choice, though, honestly. But we're going to try it and see what happens. Because what could possibly go wrong with that? Probably has, like, heal. He, if he can heal, then that sucks. What I should have done, though, is gone here, killed it, gotten the guaranteed kill, and then if he does attack, yeah, that would have been smarter. That would been a lot smarter. What is with the Imp Masters? Seriously. What's with the Imp Masters these days? Okay, so now things get a little weird. So we can deal 5 damage. Okay. But it has an overload of 2, which means Ysera is going to be 2 turns away now. But that's fine. So let's deal the 5 damage here. Because that needs to die. For obvious reasons. Let us do this. That works. And then I'm actually going to go ahead and put this on this side. Wait. No. Do I want it on this side? Because the thing is, w when I get more totems, they're going to be coming over on this side. Right? But I think what I want to do is I want to do this. Because obviously I want this to be a two-point taunt. I'm going to do this. I'm just going to kill you off. And then anything that attacks here is going to die. In theory. I just don't like that this guy is still alive. I also don't like that you do 9 damage. And I also don't like that I'm never going to see what Ysera does. For and you're going to restore your health. Okay, that makes sense. Okay, and you kill me off. Cool! This is working, this is working splendidly. Swimmingly, you might even say. Deal one damage to a character and freeze it. Done. Okay, you have nine damage next turn. Okay, and we can heal ourselves. That's always a, that's always a benefit. All right. We are going to, we are going to get this dream card. As long as he doesn't deal two extra damage from his hand, we are going to get a dream card. Wait, no. One extra damage from his hand because he's doing 10 damage right now. Hey! Good news. I don't think it's going to happen. I don't think he's going to kill me this turn. Okay, I hope that dream cards are amazing. Just be absolutely amazing. At this point, I think it would have been better... It would have been better to get um, the other dragon. Make him 15 health. Get my totems plus 2 health. That's exactly what we need. 
Alright! And I lose. I just want to see what this card does. Give me a card! Nightmare! Give a minion plus five plus five at the start of your next turn. Destroy it. Ooh! That's pretty good. Kind of. But I'm dead. But I'm dead. Hey! hey! Life is but a dream. The dream of Ysera was a dream. A dream that was not to be. Well, guys. Two and three. I think this is probably one of our worst runs we've had. Actually. But hey, you know. You win some. You lose most. It's not when you're losing that matters, but the, the, the trip that counts. Mad Bomber, I don't even want that card. That card's horrible. I think, I, I don't, whoops, not collection. I don't want to look at my collection. I know, well, I don't know what's in co my collection. I have a fair amount in my collection. We're, we're filling it up, slowly but surely. Let's see what we got here. Um, common, common. Uh, rare, light well, forked lightning. Hey, that would have been nice to have. And cold master, okay, that's pretty darn crappy for a deck. Well, good to know. It was, it was a good try. It was a valiant effort. With that, guys, I am going to go ahead and pause it. Thank you once again for watching. I do appreciate it. If you did enjoy this video, don't forget to hit that like and or subscribe button if you haven't already. And I will see you guys next time. But until next time, and as always, don't be a stranger. Take care.